I'm Chris Hine, and I'm a Timberwolves writer for the Minneapolis Star Tribune, and I'm an openly gay sports writer. This is a letter to my younger self. My name is JC Cooper. My pronouns are she, her, and they, them. I'm a competitive power lifter, former elite level curler, two-time national champion, four-time state record holder. I'm Katie Smith, assistant coach of the WNBA's Minnesota Lynx and Naismith Hall of Famer, and writing a letter to my younger self. Dear Younger JC. Dear Younger Kate. Dear Younger Scared Chris, I've got some bad news. You're never going to fit in. So just stop trying now and save yourself the aggravation. Besides, you were never meant to fit in anyway. The pain, confusion, and fear you are feeling isn't because there's something wrong with you. You're an incredibly bright and insightful kid that simply doesn't have the tools, language, or support that you need. I know you're a people pleaser and don't want to disappoint anyone. You need to forget that. Always treat people well and do the right thing, but this is your one life. Notice how I didn't say the bad news was you would be outed and your life would be over. No, that doesn't happen. At 22, you finally feel the time is right to come out to your family and closest friends, and everyone is okay with it. The truth is, it is spectacular the ways in which you've been able to survive and in so many ways thrive. When you head to college, your world will open up with travel, people, and new experiences. You'll have new feelings and connections. You know, don't be scared because you are different. What you've known is it's not right. Trust me, you'll be fine. This is you, own it. It will be okay. Throughout your life, you'll meet people who weren't as fortunate, who were thrown out of their homes and whose friends and families abandoned them because they are gay or trans who live through your current worst fears of being rejected and disowned. Guess what? Some of them become your close friends when you move to Chicago to pursue a career in sports writing. Did you hear that? You get to fulfill your dream of being a sports writer while still being openly gay. Crazy, right? Who would have thought you could do both? Certainly not you, even up until a few years ago. You always thought you'd have to live a double life. You won't. You even become so comfortable in your own skin that you write about being an openly gay sports writer. Right now you use hobbies and sport as a way to hide and to try to find safety. It may be hard to believe, but you eventually fall in love with sports and they even help you become the woman that I am now. Yes, a woman. There are many reasons you're feeling the way that you do, but one piece is that you're actually a girl. And the word you're looking for is transgender. It's perfectly normal to be trans and nothing to be ashamed of. Please believe it'll be tough sometimes because society isn't accepting yet, but it gets better. You are blessed with a family that loves and supports you no matter what, but talk to them and talk to them honestly. Don't hold back and don't hide things. It will be uncomfortable they won't understand, but they don't need to. They will always be there for you and tell them what you really are truly feeling and thinking. Let them know you, all of you. The rest of your world will be fine, and those that aren't meant to be in your life will, and those that aren't won't. That doesn't mean everything is always going to be easy. You don't quite fit in completely with the gay community because of your body type and love of sports. You certainly don't completely fit in around straight people either and you'll never know just how quote unquote gay you can be around them. Just like you never fit in much at this stage in your life. You will be tested, your rights will be disregarded, and you will experience hate in many ways. But here's the good news. In college and after, you're going to make some great lifelong friends wherever you go, and your family is going to be there to support you and cheer you on. That bedrock of love and friendship will be more than enough to offset those feelings of insecurity and loneliness that creep in. Every step that you take forward leaves a footprint, a path for others like yourself to find. Don't settle. Know your worth and don't be scared to wait for a partner in life. It will be so refreshing when you own your authentic self. It really does set you free to live your best life. 
You'll have people around you who love you for you and allow you to be your entire self in their presence, even if you do annoy them with your love of Mariah Carey and Carol King. As an out transgender athlete, you earned two national championship titles and set four state records. These accomplishments become life-defining moments and a source of pride that pushes you to make sure that others don't have to experience what you are feeling right now. You belong. And not only that, you also deserve dignity and respect while being your authentic self. It's going to be a few more tough years, but happier, freer times are ahead. You got this. It will be one heck of a ride. Keep a softness in your heart and the will to fight. The future is bright. The future is trans. And in the end, we will always win. Love, adult Chris. Love, adult Katie. Love you, kiddo. You know, I've seen friends of mine who've gone through some traumatic experiences. And one thing I can say is that eventually they find friendship, they find community, they find family. There's shared experiences there. There are bonds that you make with other people. And it really emphasizes the point that no matter how lonely you might feel right now, you aren't alone. If you're a trans athlete or trans youth that is looking to get involved in sport, go for it. You're gonna find your people and those are the people that you want to keep close because there will be some trying times. But remember that your experience is adding to this larger volume of experiences that's gonna pave the way for a future where all trans youth and all queer youth and all non-binary youth get to be who they wanna be in every facet of life not just existing, but being able to participate fully. When you really are proud of who you are and kind of embrace um, like everything about you, you know, and, and just kind of your who you love and who you want in your life and, and what your priorities are and what you feel like you want to be about, then it really kind of sets you free and it allows you to, to go after and to enjoy the things that are meant for you and to kind of let the things go that, that aren't supposed to be there, or the people that aren't supposed to be there. And it just becomes clearer and I, I think you just become happier. There's a, there's a joy about life because you feel like you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing.